Hello guys, welcome to another redstone video with Cass on the Wisma channel. Today we're going to talk about pulse multipliers. So last time I did that some people didn't know exactly uh, how to use them. So this is a different kind of approach and I also uh, made a bunch of examples so you guys can know some, some stuff that you can do with that, you know. So this is a somewhat more limited version of what I had before. Uh, and uh, well this is also cool because there's a lot of advantages like speed in this case so uh, let me show you the first example so here i have a bunch of stuff that i can craft with iron so for example uh, if i want boots i need four iron so if i press this button here i get exactly uh, four iron there uh, if i want a door i will need six iron so i can click this and I will get exactly six iron. So yeah, and this works for anything here. Let's see this example, like it needs uh, eight iron, I guess. And we always get uh, the exact number of items that we need from a click here. Uh, the system I am using here is super simple. Uh, you have those hoppers here configured uh, to output the exact signal strength for the white circuit. The white circuit is the one doing the magic here. It gets a, a level of signal strength and converts it directly into a number of pulses. So signal strength uh, number 10 will give out 10 pulses. And that's how I get the items here. I just have the storage here and then I select uh, which signal strength I want my converter to get. Uh, let's go to another example maybe. Uh, in this example, I just have to get next here and click this button. And I will get exactly 16 Ender Pearls. Every time I click this button, I get 16 Ender Pearls, which is usually uh, what we want. So, uh, yes, I use the Pulse Multiplier here just to, to show you guys how this works. Of course, we don't have Signal Strength 16, but instead I use it two uh, dispensers here and they both uh, have uh, are connected to the same uh, uh, signal strength multiplier thing here and i just generate eight pulses here so what do i do here uh, i press this button and i have signal strength 15 here and 14 here and i want a level eight uh, down here as the output so what i do is i subtract uh, uh, 8 from 14 so I need a difference of 6 and then I get this difference using this uh, subtraction here and then I send the output to this guy and yeah here's the storage and we get the other pros that we want all right uh, our next example is pretty cool one of the coolest of all so uh, this is a exchange box it says here that one gold equals 13 emeralds for some reason you decided that one gold block is worth uh, 13 emeralds so let me grab a gold block here and if i place this gold block here and press this button you guys will see that the system will accept it and you will get exactly 13 emeralds if i place uh, just uh, anything else like iron for example it will detect and refuse the item so <laughs> you get the item back even if i put emeralds here and i click this it know that it knows that emeralds is not accepted as payment and it gives you back this so uh, what we have here is a system to collect whatever uh, you have and a filter that will deny anything that's not gold and give it back using this item elevator back here and a lot of safety stuff but the really interesting thing is this second variation of the the post multiplier that we have here uh, down here we have the the hopper with the settings we want this will generate uh, 13 pulses but this is a little bit different this actually needs uh, one signal strength above uh, what you need in terms in numbers of pulses so yeah we also have the sound here just to make it cool and everything like that so this is a pretty cool uh, application example like 13 is a pretty difficult number to get like uh, with this example you can get away with using torch burnouts you will get eight pulses so we can probably get away with that but for some specific numbers like 13 is a little bit more difficult to do and if i wanted to change this all i need to do is to come here and configure this this little realm hopper here and everything would work out but of course uh 
uh, signal strength uh, goes from 0 to 15 so we are some we're somewhat limited uh, what can we do is what I will just show you now so suppose we want uh, some sort of important item uh, you can see that we have nothing here inside this chest so let's click uh, 40 and you guys will see that we will get uh, 10 plus 10 and you see there is a little pause there and finally we get you 40 items of the selected item and we can just grab it and nothing elsewhere so yeah what I'm doing here is uh, I use the signal strength once again and then I do a little conversion here because uh, this is supposed to be 10 because this this is a multiply by 10 machine basically so this would be signal strength 10 but it actually gives out 15 so I need to you know uh, get the signal a little bit lower so I use subtraction here and this little section will is a, a memory and every time we press a button we it will reset the memory and set it with another value at the same time and this value it will either be held in this memory cell and work as a counter so if I press uh, number five let's say we have a uh, level five here you can see on the right side of the screen that we get power three two one and zero so what this circuit does is it has a uh, signal strength level 10 stored in this in this furnace here and it will send it to the pulse multiplier every time the pulse multiplier is done doing its job it will also uh, send a pulse with signal strength 1 to the memory cell so it will decrease its signal strength and a 5 will become 4 and then it will try to do that again and reduce the number in the memory and it will keep looping until it gets to zero so it it cannot loop anymore it's a little more complicated here but I really tried to do everything in one dimension and without using any pistons here so it will be mostly uh, silent and here of course we have uh, the output so yeah there are plenty of options to do this I could go on I could give you more examples of what you can do with that uh, it's amazing for mini games for things like that but of course I also want to show you guys how to build this and things like that so let's move on to the real quick tutorial and here is your tutorial <laughs> all you need is this white circuit here uh, just copy this uh, including the red block the red block is the input and the green block is the output uh, if you can't see the colors this is the green block and this is the red block um, and this is in subtraction mode it's very important and those basically don't matter so yeah let's me, let me just demonstrate so because uh, if we place one input here it's going to be it's going to have 15 as uh, signal strength so if I stand here and you look at my hotbar we will get uh, 15 items okay let me demonstrate just a few more examples if it works even with only one pulse you can see here I got the item uh, let's try something else one two three four five six yeah let's try six why not it's close enough that we can stand here so press the button and we get six items as I told you guys so it's a super simple and fast uh, circuit here and finally if you are concerned about size there is this other circuit here uh, it will still read the signal strength and output uh, the corresponding number of items but it's smaller only three by three here or um, but it's a little bit slower and it doesn't work everywhere this is not uh, reliable let me show you how it works if I press this of course we're gonna get 15 items because we're giving it uh, the, the, the strongest of the signals and by the way if you pulse this using a external circuit uh, those things can take a two tick pulse or a both if you do anything less than that this is not going to work let's just extend just to, to show how it works so this would be 15 then 14 13 uh, 12 let's do 12 we don't need to go uh, that far with this so press the button and let's count and 12 items yeah just like I told you guys so it's an incredible little circuit to do and um, let me see what I can add to this tutorial yeah if you don't know one way to do a silent pulse because here I show you that I just place a solid block in front something that a comparator 
comparator can read and you can get a signal strength pulse. So one way to do a silent uh, signal strength pulse would be like this. Uh, I need a repeater here. Uh, put this in subtraction mode and then place a torch here. Sorry, I was not prepared to do this. I just, <laughs> I'm just coming up with this now. And here we can place a little hopper round thing. So you can basically uh, set this to whatever signal strength you want. And when you press the button, it will be a silent uh, signal strength pulse that you just created here. And yeah, guys, that's basically all that I had to show you. I really hope that you guys find this useful. If so, please leave a comment or leave a like. You'll decide. Uh, thank you very much for watching, guys. <laughs> See you next time. Bye.